So I saw this recently, you know, come up on my news feed. So I, I'm curious for you, is this true that Elvis offered you a gig? Yes, very true. Um, in the 60s again, late 60s, uh, he and Tom were big friends. Um, it was a mutual admiration society, I think. I'm sure it was. Um, and uh, he came to see... Tom came to see us quite a few times, uh, about at least three times. Um, and the second time he came was in Las Vegas. And we were doing a show at the Flamingo there uh, for a month. And he threw a party for us and Tom after after one of our shows. And so we went to uh, his uh, apartment. Um, and uh, it was just Elvis and uh, the Memphis Mafia and the Squires. Uh, and Tom, of course, Tom and the Squires. And that was the party. Um, I don't think Elvis is even drinking at that time. Never mind taking drugs. Tom and uh, we have never taken drugs in our lives. Uh, done plenty of booze, but not drugs. Not in our, it's not in our uh, upbringing, you know? Um, so a uh, few days after this party, he asked me to be his drummer. This is about 60, I'm guessing 68, something like that. And it was going to be a month in Vegas. And I thought, oh, that's a great opportunity. How, how amazing. So uh, I was. I talked to Joe Esposito, who was Elvis's right-hand man, and I kept in touch with him. And uh, while well, I was still on the road with, with Tom, so kept uh, getting extended. The, the tours kept getting extended. And in the end, after about the second or third time saying, I can't make it, um, they said, oh, it's okay, we'll, um, we'll get a drummer in and you can slot in right at the end. In fact, we're, gonna, we're thinking of using two drummers. So the drummer they got in was Ronnie Tutt. Now, I'm pretty sure he didn't know anything about this, Ronnie. Um, so it was going to be me and Ronnie Tutt behind Elvis which would have been incredible because Ronnie's a great player. Um, and uh, I, used, I know he was great because I used to listen to him on the Andy Williams show. He was the drummer on that, on the TV show. Um, so then he worked with Elvis. You know, I couldn't make the, the gigs. And that month in Vegas initially became years and years of touring. So. Uh, I should have just said to Tom, you know, I'm I'm off, mate. I'm going. Thanks for all the fish, but I'm I'm going. And uh, um, it's like uh, you know, it's the biggest regret of my professional career was having to say no to Elvis. And uh, in the end, um, I'm sure the management, Tom's management, went to Colonel Parker and said. You know, uh, look, you can't steal our drummer. You mustn't steal our drummer. Because, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, they knew each other. They, you know, they knew each other well um, as management goes. So, uh, you know, it got knocked on the head and I wish it hadn't. I, I should have just walked. I was contracted to Tom, but I should have just walked. Um, you know, what an opportunity missed. My God. <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for sharing, you know, the, the, that story. I really appreciate it. Now, so if you had a redo of that, like, situation, uh, you would you would, uh, tour, you would would uh, perform with Elvis? Absolutely, yes, of course. I'd be stupid not to. Why wouldn't I sing with the king of rock and roll, you know? Uh, and I said, Tom, it's only a month. Uh, not thinking it was going to be longer, honestly. 
Uh, but he was incensed by me even thinking about leaving because we're from the same village see, in uh, in Wales. So, um, and we've been together a long time. In total, I was playing drums with him for seven years. So it was right through the 60s from be before he was Tom Jones and after he changed his name to Tom Jones. And I changed my name at the same time to Chris Slade from Chris Reese, R E E S, which is my family name. Um, so we changed our names at the same time in Piccadilly Circus in London. <laughs> wow. I didn't know that. that that's yeah. cool. Thank you, thank you for sharing. So, uh, well, obviously, uh, you know, the, the name change is more just for, uh, is that just for like um, marketability or, you know, um, but what was with the, well, the there's that, yes marketability is one of them because um well slate is my middle name for a start and jones is tom's middle name but there are millions of joneses in wales it's a very common name you know like smith it's a jones is a very common name in wales so a singer called tom jones it's uh who's, what's the name of the singer uh tom jones oh is he one of the Nancaro Joneses? I don't know. 